Thank you. Good evening. Very excited to be here tonight, and I uh, got some great news today. I uh, finally got my own TV show coming out as a replacement show this fall. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you. It's not a talk show. Don't worry. It's a uh, half-hour weekly show that I will host entitled Let's Hunt and Kill Billy Ray Cyrus. Thank you. It's fairly self-explanatory. Each week we let the hounds of hell loose. We chase that jarhead, no-talent, cracker idiot all over the globe. Until I finally catch that fruity little ponytail of his, pull him to his knees, put a shotgun in his mouth. <laughs> then we'll be back in 94 with Let's Hunt and Kill Michael Bolton. Also look out for our uh, Vanilla Ice, MC Hammer, Marky Mark Christmas special. And uh, I don't want to give away any surprises, but Marky Mark's the first one we catch and kill on that show because... His pants kept falling around his ankles and he couldn't run away. I crossbow him right in the ab. Bring the whole kids, the family and everything. It's a Christmas spectacular. I don't know what my deal is. I'm like a 31-year-old curmudgeon. That's the deal. You know, I went to a dance club the other day, you know, and uh, dragged against my will, you know. And this girl asked me to dance, which I thought was hilarious, you know. Would you like to dance? You know, I'm like, yeah, you read my mind, you know. That's why I'm leaning in the darkest corner closest to the exit, you know. Uh, I'm about to boogie. I'm about to cut a rug. But it's weird. Women have this weird myth. You can tell the way a guy is in bed by how he is on a dance floor. I think that's ridiculous. What does it matter? You know what I mean? If a guy is on a dance floor really getting into it, enjoying himself, expressing himself, what does it matter how he is in bed? He's gay. <laughs> Real men don't dance, they sit, sweat, and curse. <laughs> Speaking of homosexuality, uh, you know, I consider myself fairly open-minded, but something has come to my attention I find absolutely shocking. I don't know if you've heard about it. These new grade school books for children to teach them gay lifestyles. Do you know what I'm talking about? One of them is called Heather's Two Mommies. The other is called Daddy's New Roommate. I'm going to have to draw the line here, folks, and say this is absolutely disgusting, okay? It is <laughs> grotesque and evil. I'm talking about Daddy's new roommate. Uh, Heather's Two Mommies is pretty cool. I don't know if you want to <laughs> check that out. They're, uh, they're hugging on page seven. Oh, <laughs> go, mommies, go, go. Anyway, it makes me miss my youth. People annoy me. You know what's really annoying me? These pro-life people. You ever look at their faces? I'm pro-life. Why don't they look it? They just exude joie de vie, you know? You see them trying to go to an orphanage and adopt a kid. We're pro-life. We're here to adopt. Kids are just, oh, don't pick me. Oh, no. <laughs> I'll eat gruel, 15 to a bed, no problem. Just uh, keep Heather's two mommies coming and we're fine in here. I'm pro-life. You know, if you're really pro-life, do me a favor. Don't lock arms and block med clinics, okay? If you're so pro-life, do me a favor. Lock arms and block cemeteries, okay? Let's see how committed you are to this idea. She can't come in. She was 98. She was hit by a bus. There's options. <laughs> are we going to have her stuffed? What are we going to do with her? We're pro-life. That's the same look smokers give you, too. I'm a non-smoker. I'm a pro-life non-smoker. I'm getting that look a lot these days because I started smoking again. And I had nine months with that cigarette and I started again. And uh, I'm getting that look. Are you applauding me starting or stopping? What are you? The smokers are, hey, you're back. Uh. Non-smokers, it's terrible. I can't believe he started again. Why? After nine months. I have this belief. If that scenario is at all true when you die and you go to heaven and St. Peter meets you at the gate, I have this belief. The first thing he's going to ask you is, you got a light? You mean y'all smoke here? Yeah, that's why it's heaven. 
These aren't clouds. This is cigarette smoke, pal. <laughs> Hell is the non-smoking section. You want to look at them for a minute? Okay. I can't believe what they do to their bodies. It's so smelly. It smells like an ashtray. Why do they want me to smell that? God, that's hellish. Exactly. Light up and come on in. <laughs> Hendrix is on harp tonight. So I've been traveling. I was in Australia. Uh, I was in Australia over Easter, which was interesting to note. They celebrate Easter the same way we do, commemorating the death and resurrection of Jesus by telling our children a giant bunny rabbit <laughs> left chocolate eggs in the night. <laughs> I wonder why we're messed up as a race. Anybody got any clues? I've read the Bible. Can't find the word bunny or chocolate anywhere in the book. Why those two things? Why not, you know, goldfish left Lincoln logs in your sock drawer, you know, just making stuff up, go hog wild. But I think it's interesting to note how people act on religious beliefs, you know what I mean? Like a lot of Christians wear crosses around their necks. Nice sentiment, but do you think when Jesus comes back, he's really going to want to look at a cross? <laughs> That may be why he hasn't shown up yet. He's going, man, they're still wearing crosses, Dad. I'm not going, no. They totally missed the point. I'm not going. Forget it. I'll go back as a bunny. But, uh...